Bombshell info. At least 25 million dead and fraudulent registered voters in 2016. President Donald Trump has proved that he is right again. Millions of dead and invalid voters not included in study showing 800,000 illegals for Hillary Clinton. A study exposing that over 800,000 non-citizens voted for Hillary Clinton doesn't count for dead and fraudulent voters, which accounted for over 25 million registered voters during the 2012 presidential election, and little has changed since then. Illegal alien voters combined with dead and multiple state voters could easily explain Clinton's popular vote margin over Donald Trump in the 2016 presidential election, especially considering that her victory came from Democratic-controlled countries known for illegal immigration and loose voter ID laws such as in New York and California. A report by the Pew Center on the state's finds that more than 1.8 million dead people are currently registered to vote and 24 million registrations are either invalid or inaccurate. NPR reported in 2012, which is ironic given how NPR is heavily controlled by Democrats. And many of the dead registered voters somehow keep voting Democrat from beyond the grave, most recently in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and Colorado. It's also worth noting that the U.S. population has increased since 2012, meaning that there is likely more dead and invalid voters than before. The Pew study found that almost 3 million people are registered to vote in more than one state, NPR added. That's because when a new resident registers to vote in one state, officials usually never bother to tell his former state about the change in voter residency. Under the Catch and Release Immigration Program by the Obama administration, Illegal aliens were routinely given bus tickets to travel to other states by immigration officials, so it was theoretically possible for non-citizens to register to vote in a border country illegally, then register to vote in another state after their taxpayer-funded bus dropped them off. Clinton won most of the 163 most populous counties, in the U.S. that account for half of the total votes in the election, including dense urban areas in New York and California. Yet, she only won the popular vote by 2.8 million votes, which reveals the lack of enthusiasm voters had for her in comparison to Trump and that Democrats would have depended more on illegal votes. A portion of the 24 million invalid voter registrations combined with a portion of the 1.8 million dead voters and the over 800,000 known illegal voters could explain the difference of 2.8 million votes. And it's worth noting that the 800,000 figure could be a low conservative estimate. That said, a popular vote victory is meaningless. If the president was elected by popular vote, then both Trump and Clinton would have campaigned in entirely different states because only densely populated regions of the U.S. would decide who would become president. Without the Electoral College, the United States of America would be reduced to the United States of New York and California with 48 other vassal states. Yet notice how Clinton campaigned in other, less populated states. They knew the popular vote was meaningless ahead of the election. However, the popular vote is useful as a barometer for voter fraud since the most populous countries are also the most susceptible to election tampering by illegal, invalid, and dead voters.
Yeah, because they would have even can she would have even campaigned in other places, but she didn't because she had New York and California in the bag. So in other words, if we didn't have the electoral college, um, she would have won, let's say, with the fraudulent votes, if it was for the popular vote, by only campaigning, let's say, in California and New York, and that's it, mostly Democrat. And what happens to the other 48 states? I mean, they, they, they don't count. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and this is a total fraud in these idiot liberals that are jumping up and down uh, that were protesting because she won the popular vote. She won crap. That's what she won. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.